I think I'm losing my mind. Okay. Hey everyone, it's me, Sophie. Um, I hate doing that and I say that in every video. I hate introducing myself because then it makes me feel like somebody when I'm actually not really anyone. What is up? I, today, am going to do a how to prepare for fall. Me preparing for fall. Because it's fall, almost. It's Sunday, September 16th, and it, that means it's almost fall. When's the first day of fall? Fall begins September 22nd. Okay, so it's almost fall. It's September 16th, so we're preparing for it, okay? It starts on the 22nd, so. I have no makeup on, and I have this huge, that was cool. This huge jacket on from Urban Outfitters. And today, I'm gonna be showing you everything I do to prepare for fall. You've only said it 20 times. I feel like I'm not mentally prepared. I feel like my room is not prepared. I feel like just nothing is prepared. So, without any further ado, let me show you how I'm gonna get ready for freaking fall. All right, ladies and gents, the first thing we add we to, hmm? All right, the first thing you need to do in order to prepare for fall is make your room smell a little bit like fall because if it doesn't, then it's just gonna smell like, in my case, bunny. But since it's fall, we're gonna do some fall candles. Not from Bath & Body Works, but just ones that I stole from my mom. In this case, we're gonna be burning this candle. I don't know if you could see it, but let's just start making my room smell, right? Hell yeah, we're one step already almost there. So now that we got a fall candle burning, also, by the way, uh, I, mm, how do I explain this? My stepsister left this here and it left some weird residue behind and now it stays there. So that is fall decor, okay? Speaking of fall decor, let's start decorating for fall, okay? Let's go find some shit. Let's go look for some spooky decorations. Are you shitting me right now? Look at that. This is gonna be a horror movie. A little backstory, um, I got the door slammed on me, and I think it was my dog who slammed the door, and it scared the shit out of me. So, spooky, right? Goes with the theme. Oh my god, what's going on? Okay, let's get what we need to get the hell out of this basement. Um, no. This pumpkin's kind of cute. We've got a big spider, but I already have a spider, and I'm not cheating on her. Oh, this is cute. It says pumpkins. Okay, we're taking her. This is real spooky. We're taking it. I need to stop saying that. All right, I got, I got some things. Let's go decorate it smells so good in here it reminds me of fall now for the moment you've all been waiting for i know it's time to decorate with the three things that i picked out first up is this guy we're going to put him this is the best thing i've ever done prepare yourself he watches over me in the night. Now the next thing we have to do is the pumpkin sign. So where are we gonna put it? I don't know. Right next to my meditating dog and my dead cactus. Now that's the aesthetic I'm going for. Now the last thing we have to do, it's kinda heavy. Where are we gonna put this, you ask? Right here. Right next to this board that I never finished making and my spoopy spider. I don't know why I'm saying spoopy. I'm so sorry. So let's do a quick overview of what we've done so far. Boom, 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 boom. Another thing you need to get into spooky season is a little bit of a up in your style so you could get probably everything that i got for way overpriced from a thrift store but since i suck at thrifting little promo for one of my old videos go check it out i got all this well just like a few things from urban outfitters and free people oh and i went to target so let's just get into what i got i got this black crop thing from target yep and then i got these yellow corduroys from urban outfitters they're really cute and since they're corduroys they count as fall right i don't know then the last thing i got from Urban Outfitters is something I'll be living in all fall and winter. Literally, I don't, I'm not gonna wear anything else, so. And then I got one thing from Free People because I've been wanting a pair of these because they're super cute. Overalls, these were uh, way too expensive, but I bought them anyway because they're so cute. Flare at the bottom, they're not bell bottom at all. These like are like good, they're like oversized. I think they're supposed to be, but they like hug your butt and stuff. Sorry, dad, but they do. These are a size two and they're super cute and flattering and I'm gonna be wearing them all fall. I don't really and give a shit what anyone says. If anyone asks if I'm just re-wearing the same pair of overalls, I'm gonna tell them no, that I spent a thousand dollars on 10 different pairs of free people overalls. So I'm not ending the video here whatsoever because obviously I'm not done. So tomorrow, I'm gonna show you a few more things you could do, but right now I'm going to see the new movie with Blake Lively and Anna Kendrick. Tomorrow I'll show you a few more things. See you tomorrow.
it's the next day. Something I forgot to mention yesterday when it comes to clothes that you need for fall. You need a pair of moccasins because these are my holy grail. The grail? Grill? These are my holy grail and I don't wear anything else in the fall. Before we go and try some Starbucks drinks, I wanted to show you my outfit of the day. It's a little fall outfit so let's just, I'll show you. I got them from Free People. I actually showed you them yesterday. So yeah, these are them on. They're very like oversized. I have a lot of room, but I kind of like them because they're like 70s-ish. Let's go to Starbucks. Welcome to Starbucks. Sam, what can I get for you today? Hi, can you get, can you make like um, iced uh, pumpkin spice lattes? Yeah. Can I have uh, a, a venti pumpkin spice latte iced with almond milk, please? Can I have a uh, tomato and mozzarella, please? All right, 1269, I'll see if Okay, so I have a venti iced pumpkin latte, no whipped cream and almond milk. It really needs to be mixed. It's hot at the bottom. I mean, yeah, it's good, but it's like, I could have like one of these. Let me taste. I could have like one of these throughout the whole season. If it was, it needs to be colder. Mm-hmm. So that was me doing the bare minimum to prepare myself for fall. I am gonna do a lot of more fall videos, like carving pumpkins and making pumpkin seeds and a bunch of cool shit like that. So you should stay tuned and subscribe. Thanks for watching <laughs> this shitty get ready with fall, how to prepare for fall. That's my sister, by the way. Thanks for watching, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in my next video.